Hello and welcome to The Telescope. Every week we bring you a fresh insight from the biggest car market in the world. Today we are on the outskirts of Suzhou to try out some very advanced active safety features, actually very similar to some of the functions we showed you, no, Lee Auto showed us about 50 days ago. It's not just auto emergency braking. What we're about to show you today is auto emergency steering because in some extreme scenarios, simply braking is not enough to completely avoid the accident. First item, you see in the distance, there's a black uh, Neo ES6. They've put a dummy behind the ES6, and when we approach that car, the dummy will move behind, move out of the vehicle at the very last minute, and theoretically, this car should perform that emergency lane change. So let's try. We're going to do this at a speed of roughly 80, 90, 100 kph. The dummy will move out. And even if we, there is the lane change, in that kind of scenario, at that kind of speed, even if you fully apply emergency brakes, it wouldn't be enough to avoid the accident. Because this car has all run camera vision, if there is space on the right, the car will perform that uh, emergency lane change to completely avoid the accident. Second item is a little bit complicated. We are currently in the following car. We're gonna watch how the ES8 will react in a very particular kind of accident. We've placed a dummy car in front of the ES8, which the ES8 will approach it at roughly 80 to 90 kph and apply auto emergency braking. That's fine, right? But what if the car behind, we're pretending this is not a Neo, this is a car that doesn't have any kind of advanced active safety features. What if this car cannot avoid, doesn't have the reaction time, doesn't have the active safety feature. So even if the ES8 could stop, this car will potentially rear end the ES8 and push the ES8 into the first dummy vehicle. So, so theoretically what's about to happen is the ES8 will detect a very fast um, car behind it, that is this car, will potentially create this rear end accident and the ES8 will move out um, of its lane to completely avoid this. So you sort of have to ignore what's going on inside this vehicle and just solely focusing on the ESA because at the last minute when we're about to rear end it, the ESA will move out and that action is completely automatic. Let's try. So we are going at uh, 80 kph. The auto emergency braking light should come on of the ES8 and it detects we're about to rear end that car and it moved out of the lane. That's the auto emergency uh, lane switch. Third item is we're simulating on a highway, we're following the car in front. The car in front has perfect vision, so it will be able to see there's a car stopped in the lane. So there's enough time for the car in front to make that lane switch, even just manually, even the driver will be able to see it. But because our vision in front is blocked by the car in front, we don't have enough time to spot that car stopped in the lane. So when the car moves out, when we see there's a car in the lane, there's not enough time and distance for this car to completely avoid the accident simply by braking. In that scenario, this car should be able to perform that lane switch and avoid the accident. Let's try. So we are at 130, 127 kph. The ET7 will move out because it can see it. We only see it very last minute but we performed the lane switch. The fourth item is what we experienced before, plus a little bit, plus a bit of extra difficulty. Because nowadays for the camera, because of the data training, it's very easy for the camera to pick out a car stopped in the lane. This time, the thing that's stopped in the lane is a tricycle, is um, 
is an electric bike. Now, you might ask, what is an electric bike? What is a tricycle doing in the middle of a highway? Isn't that somewhere it's, it's shouldn't supposed to be? That thing just shouldn't be on the highway. If you're asking this kind of question, you obviously have not driven in China. In China, on the highway, even on the highway, anything is possible. Let's try. So the car in front, it will see the tricycle, it will see the bike, it will move out. But once it move out, we see it very last minute. But because of this lane switch, we avoid the accident. On reflection, several things I think should be important. Firstly, what we've just experienced is not an engineering beta version. This function as part of the version 3.1.0 has already been pushed to new customers. So this function is already live or being delivered to customers. Secondly, inevitable comparisons will have to be made between uh, Neo's auto emergency steering and Lee Auto's auto emergency steering. Now, I'm going to avoid telling you which is the better one, which is worse, this is better than this in that area, because I'm trying to encourage more manufacturers to come up with this kind of very advanced active safety features. I think we can all agree the best way to achieve ultimate safety is to avoid the accident from happening in the first place. While Neo and Lee Auto are trying to compete with each other in the auto emergency steering sector, one thing both manufacturers agree on is the importance of this thing, the LiDAR. They both agree that without the LiDAR, this kind of very advanced active safety features is near impossible to achieve because today we are under direct sunlight and perfect visibility. What if it's raining with huge sprays, with fog, in the tunnel, or if it's darkness plus spray? In that kind of scenario, cameras doesn't work as good as LIDARs because this thing effectively is not affected by ambient lighting. It can work in pitch black darkness. So yes, if you're Tesla, if you drive only on a very well-behaved driving scenario in the west coast of the United States, you could get away with not having a LiDAR and still achieve some level of advanced active safety feature. But if you're in China, where anything is possible, a tricycle, a mobike could be on the highway, even driving towards you in that scenario, under all weather conditions, you still need this. Now, at this moment in time, Huawei, Li Auto and Neo are the front runners in, in this kind of auto emergency steering function. But in future, if all cars have this kind of function, your insurance premium should drop. And that's not just me here over promising daydreaming the future because there's a very striking slide I found in Neil's workshop uh, presented to us today is that at this moment in time, the insurance industry and the reinsurance companies already acknowledges Neil's effort in the active safety sector. They have data, and this is not Neil's data, this is insurance company data, that this kind of active safety features reduces accident by as much as 25% to the point that Neil cars already experiences more accidents being rear-ended because other cars doesn't have auto emergency braking system than Neil cars rear-ending other cars because these cars have very robust auto emergency braking. So that has already happened and the auto emergency steering is the next step. I truly want all manufacturers to catch up to this kind of active safety feature push rather than putting more airbags and more robust um, structures in the car to, um, to soften the impact. Because if in future, in a very distant future, that's just daydreaming for a moment, that the active safety features are so robust that it's nearly impossible to have accidents anymore, then you can drop all of the heavy um, impact structures. You can drop all the airbags. The cars will be much lighter, much nicer to drive, uses much less material to build in the first place, and also designers will have more freedom 
to design. Because nowadays the front design of a car is heavily affected by the pedestrian production um, regulations. So if future active safety features like this becomes commonplace, then we can all have smaller, lighter, nicer to drive, environmental friendly cars that are much nicer to look at as well. Yes, that is in the very distant future, but the auto emergency steering we've just showed you is a step in the right direction. That is all from the telescope today. If you enjoyed this video, keep watching, keep subscribing. More videos coming to you very soon.